later, Bullhead. It's time to spend a week back in my hometown of San Diego. That is weird. That is my old house, which now belongs to people I don't know. We're back in San Diego. Hi. Yes, we missed you. It's been two months. It's good to see you again. Good morning, guys. Welcome to another full day of eating. This one is different because we just did a long drive yesterday from Bullhead, Arizona, which is where I'm staying at currently. Back to my hometown of here, San Diego. This is about a five and a half hour drive. Super stoked to take you guys along with me in a full day of eating today because I don't really miss San Diego that much. What I do miss is all the good food. So. I'm going to take you with me for my leg day today, show you what I'm eating here at the house and also what we get in town because there's some really good food out here. Also, we are at Sammy's aunt's house for the week. This video is going to be a good time, good eats. Let's get into it. Good morning. Yes, you and your wonderful Christmas sweater. Good morning, Daisy. Good morning, Kitty. How you doing, boss at Kitty? Oh, yeah, you got the little bitch on the chin there. Right on the ball sack. So what we have here for breakfast, as you saw, got some tangerines, some little cuties, some kiwis, I haven't had these in a long time, a not quite ripe banana, Look, they look like this, almost there. I prefer mine to be a little spotty, it has some green on it, not so great, but that's okay. Then I've got a everything bagel over here with some of this new type of cream cheese, which is called Borson? Yes, Borson. Never heard of it before, but I'm gonna give it a try. And then an apple to take with me because we are off to Sammy's doctor appointments. I've got uh, quite a while before I'm actually gonna get to the workout, so I wanna take a little snack with me as well. Yeah, this is what I'm eating for breakfast. So, uh, Sammy, we're in El Cajon because Sammy has some doctor appointments that we had to go to. Yes. And then in the meantime, between the two appointments, I needed to coach some of my clients. Starbucks, you can't go inside of the place, which is kind of annoying. So we went and found this nice little place, little Rob's Dew Point, Brew Point. <laughs> Rob's Brew Point. And I just coached everybody. Now we're rushing back over there because we have a couple minutes. And then uh, I'll show you a little snack I'm gonna eat in the car. So much for a sunny San Diego. So I just had my apple that I brought earlier, but also having a couple handfuls of this. This is the Trader Joe's pumpkin seeds. That's all it is, just this and salt. It's so simple, but it's so freaking good. We eat them with the shell on, which I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. I don't know if they're like sunflower seeds and you're supposed to split them. We just eat them with shell on though. So probably having like, I would say probably close to two servings of this. Something like 300 calories, something like that. And waiting for Sammy to get done so I can rush home and get ready to go hit leg day. Oh, baby. No, not you. You. Oh, yeah. Come here. Get inside of me. My favorite food in the world, I've decided. It's yep. official. Yep. It's official. Get in there. What do you want? You do. I want extra bit. Thank you. Is that too much spice? <laughs> yeah, it's too much. The funny thing is I'm gonna put probably twice as much spice yeah. <laughs> as I go through the bowl. Yeah, he puts so much spice on there. It's so good though, you gotta have the spice. Anyways, this is my favorite thing in San Diego. Yes. Bar none, so I had to get it. Probably get it a few more times before we leave for the week. Yeah. Oh. It's so good. And 
it's a ticket Talking Mazda for the biggest That's a comma and a comma and a comma Gotta get it, get it And it's a ticket Talking Mazda for the biggest That's a comma and a comma and a comma Gotta get it, I'm a comma and a comma and a comma Gotta get it, get it, get it, get it Comma and a comma, gotta get it, get it And it's a ticket Talking Mazda for the biggest How you feeling? Good, I wasn't feeling super great earlier I slept in I feel great now You feel better now you slept? Yeah That's good Yeah What's all that behind you? <laughs> Not sure. <laughs> We're going to show the people. <laughs> Collectibles. So, so Sammy's uncle is absolutely obsessed with Rat Fink and a bunch of collectibles. Check, check, check it. Do any of you guys relate? Are any of you also into this? <laughs> what are we making? Do you know? Macaroni and cheese, right? Yes. Yes. So. There is this awesome Instagrammer, her name is Fit Green Mind, and she makes super fire recipes. Uh, my parents, they were, they were texted me and were like, you gotta try this recipe, it looks really, really good. It's called Mac No Cheese. Um, and so I'll put the recipe on screen for you. It's a mix of all these like different dry ingredients, and then after that you just have dry ingredients prepared and ready, which I did earlier. So I've just got this. We're gonna make it via boiling noodles, adding the dry mix, adding some milk, just like a mac and cheese box, mix it up. Yeah. It's gonna be freaking delicious. I'm really excited. And I'm freaking hungry because we just got back from the workout. Yum. And stoked about my legs, killing them. I need a protein shake, I just remembered. Yeah. Can't go catabolic, I need to stay anabolic. Bum, bum. Every day, perform. Got the gingerbread spice flavor from Vivo. And I'm gonna do a serving of that and Bit of the ripple milk, because ripple milk gives me a bunch of extra protein as well, plus a little B12 in there. And now, your boy's proteined up, so I can make them gains while I wait for my noodles. As always, if you guys ever want to support, you can, <laughs> you can do so by using my link and my code in the description below. They got protein, they got multivitamins, they got creatine, they got basically everything. Uh, I also made a supplement video just recently about everything I use if you want to see what I use to gain that muscle. But yeah, okay, shake time. Now let's go get those noodles over there. forget what her measurements was but <laughs> okay so now we have our boiled pasta ow hot and we're just gonna take the dry mix mix some in there I forget the ratio I think it was like six tablespoons to two tablespoons of milk something like that Oh my gosh, dude. I didn't think it was gonna be that good because it's like stupid simple. <laughs> dude, she killed that. Wow, oh my that's gosh. That's delicious. Yo, that's a remake. Okay, I'll put the I'll put the recipe on screen and everything. Oh my gosh, let's pour it in a bowl. <laughs> so we already tried it, but it's so good. absolutely fire. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's so good. I don't know what happened in the last year. We flipped. Sammy was a mac and cheese fiend, enthusiast. Then I became a mac and cheese enthusiast. But I still kind of feel bad eating it out of the box. Like, that's not probably the best food. This is just straight whole foods. That's, that's pretty badass. Yeah, it's really good. Anyways, I can't hype this one up enough. Uh, this is kind of a small bowl. If you're used to my portion sizes, you're probably like, that's, that's not even a snack for you. It, it's not. I'm about to go for a big hike, so I don't want to eat too much. So a little bit of this. Later tonight though, definitely gonna be eating some big meals. Possibly cooking some, possibly getting some stuff here in San Diego that I, I miss. It's one of the best things about being back in San Diego is having mm. so many options. I'm like, do I want Mongolian? Do I want mm. Japanese? Do I want Vietnamese pho? What do I want? Do I want Chinese tofu? Mm. Mm. So probably gonna be getting something. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go for a little.
far one of my all-time favorite hikes. I'm so stoked I got to do it in the rain, which is one of my other favorite things to do when I'm hiking, and listening to Mongolian throat music. Chef's kiss. The only thing that wasn't great is I ate those noodles too close to this, and my stomach was definitely a little thick. Has that ever happened to you guys? All right, a little out of breath. I need some water. Heading back down the hill. That's my favorite part, because then I get to run, and, and then we're gonna eat. Panda Country. Hello. I uh, placed an order for pickup. It's like to two tofus and 16 rice. All right, so I got the tofu in this bag right here, uh, but I actually got this mystery package. Oh, and um, I'm listening to the new Lex Fridman and Elon Musk podcast. I can't get enough Elon. I don't know if anyone else relates with me, but there's a two and a half hour podcast. I'm definitely gonna listen to it. I got this mystery package in the mail. I literally, there's no message or anything. I have no idea, but thank you to Avoha. They sent me a bunch of these sweet avocados and I got to San Diego just in time because they're ripe but they're about to go bad. So I'm gonna make a bunch of guacamole, which means, of course, that I also made my world famous pico de gallo. Didn't show it you guys because I show up pretty much in every freaking full day of eating. But basically I'm just gonna take a couple scoops of this, throw it in this. I'm gonna mash up those avocados, uh, add some garlic powder and salt, and then I will have some guacamole, which I'll have after my tofu. But first, let's have some of that tofu. Okay, this meal is something that I've been craving. There's this place uh, in East County called Panda Country that makes orange and general south uh, tofu that is so freaking good. Like, even if I tried, I couldn't make it this good. I really, really like this place. Plus, getting a good amount of protein in there. I made my own little mixed vegetable mix right here with soy sauce and then just a big old square of white rice here. The title did not say healthy in it, okay? I was actually, like 50-50 shuffling between either getting this or Mongolian, but then I thought about it and I was like, noodles, then noodles for lunch, then Mongolian noodles for dinner. Probably too many noodles in one video. But anyways, uh, I'm gonna eat this, so freaking good, and then join the family out there, which they're watching Scream 5. After just watching Scream 4. Those are Sam's favorite movies. She's hijacking the, the playlist here. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna have for dinner tonight, or snack, I guess, is a little bit of the pico and a little bit of the guacamole. I've got, as always, my baked tostadas, which have 1.5 grams of fat per three tostadas. These are the best replacement for tortilla chips in the world. And then afterwards for my sweet, this is a new company that I just found out about, Bear Bell's plant-based hazelnut, and I think they have a peanut butter flavor, super fire. And I like to drink that with a little bit of milk because I like to keep it classic and classy. Hey, That's something that Sam hates. She does not like drinking milk out of the cup. I love ripple milk. Oh, so good. Okay, so there you have it. Definitely not like a perfect full day of eating. Um, I'm not at home, so I'm not home cooking everything, but really just enjoying my time in San Diego, hitting the places that I really, really have missed. Um, and just enjoying, you know, doing different things with Sammy and eating different places and stuff. So I want to take you guys along and show you my favorite, so well, at least some of my favorite San Diego places because there's about like six other ones that I'm going to be hitting throughout the rest of this week. We just finished watching Halloween Kills, which was actually pretty freaking phenomenal. But, oh, I think Daisy's got the right idea. It's time to eat and then take a dog nap. As always, I appreciate the heck out of you guys coming in here, watching the videos, um, giving likes and comments and stuff helps so much. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Check out Vivo Life if you want some of the best vegan supplements in the world. Brian 10, get you 10% off. I'm gonna go take a shower, which is much overdue. Eat this food and go to bed. Peace, guys.